Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Doki Doki Where I'll probably be skimming through some parts Or I'll probably read it through For this winter break special videos Hmm, hmm. alright Might as well just keep on reading until the end It's gonna get take me another 12 hours Well, probably I might skim through it because we already know this part. We want to see something special happen. So let's carry on. Discuss it if you wanted. Th this is... How is this accidentally being so cute? Huh. Let's skim through it. I enthusiastically take the book. So now I have one book from the past. One book from the old saves. And probably uh, 54 books from the old saves. Phew! Well, you can read it at your own pace. Looks forward. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's settled in. I expected Monica to kick it off with a schedule activity for the club. But that doesn't seem like the case. Yuri's face is buried in the book. I can't help but notice her intense expression like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is ramaging around in the closet. I'm really curious to talk to Yuri a little bit more. But at the same time, I would feel bad for distracting her from reading. I can't a glimpse of, of the cover of her book. It looks like the same as the. It looks like the same book that she lent me. More than that, she seems to be the on the first few pages. Uh. Crap. I've been spotted, cover blown. <laughs> I think she noticed me looking for her. I'm mean, looking at her. She sneaks a, another glance at me, and her eyes meet for a split second. But that only makes her hide her face deeper in her book. Sorry, I was just spacing out. I muttered this then saying, "I made you uncomfortable." Oh, it's fine. If I focus, then I probably wouldn't have noticed in the first place. But I'm just rereading a bit of this, so. Wait a second. Do my eyes deceive me? Yuri, you need to see the eye doctor. It seems like you're trying to. Look in another direction. I feel disrespected. <laughs> Alright, let's continue. That's the book that you gave me, right? Mm-hmm. I wanted to reread. Yuri stops staring at the different location. I'm right in front of you, not to your left. I mean, not to your right. Okay, that's better. <laughs> Not for any particular reason. Just curious how come you have two copies of the same book. Ah, well, when I stopped at the bookstore yesterday... Uh, that's not what I meant. I mean, I just happened to buy two of them. Ah, I see. There's something fairly obvious here that Eerie isn't telling me, but... I decided to let go. I'll definitely start reading this soon. I mean it soon. I'm glad to hear. Once it starts to pick up, you might have a hard time putting it down. It's very engaging and relatable story. Is that so? What's the story about anyway? Well... Hmm... I'll look at the cover of the book. The book is titled Portrait 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 of Macro. 
There's an ominous looking eye symbol in front of the cover. Basically, it's about the religious camp that was turned into a human experiment prison. And the people trapped there have this this trait that turns them into a killing machines that lust for blood. But the facility gets even worse and they start selectively breeding people by cutting off their limbs and affixing them to... Oh... That might be a little bit of a spoiler. But anyway, I'm really into it. The book, I mean. Uh, not the thing about the limbs. That's kind of... That's kind of dark, isn't it? Yuri made it sound like it was going to be a nice story. So that dark turns came from nowhere. Uh... Are you not a fan of the sort of things? No, it's not that. I mean... I can definitely enjoy those kind of stories, so don't worry. I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot that Yuri is into those things. She's so shy and reclusive on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. It's just this, this kind of story. It's the kind of challenges you to look at life from a strange new perspective when horrible things happen not just because someone wants to be evil 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 <laughs> but because the world is full of horrible people and we're all worthless anyway what the heck then generally I'm I'm rambling aren't I not again I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost any interesting or anything. Well, I guess it's all right then. But I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem when I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts. My ho but 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 oh, what? My whole body, something, something, body, body, parts, body, something. You write too fast, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna think of what it said. So, something, body, makes you feel strange, and some gibberish at the bottom of the black. <laughs> I kind of forget to pay attention to other people, so I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. And please stop me if I start talking too much. That's... I really don't think you need to worry. That just means you're passionate about reading. The least I can do is listen. It's a literature club after all. Uh... That's... Well, that's true. In fact... I might as well get started reading it right. Yeah, I gotta figure out what the text said at the bottom. Oh my goodness. You're gonna give me more heart attacks. Ah. Don't worry, everybody. I know all 40 of you are watching this with me. But I must carry on. No matter how much pain. I I mean, you don't have to, but... Uh, what are you saying? Three dots. Let me just get the book. Okay, I just lowered down my volume so low. I'm starting to hear buzzing. Probably not as part of the game, but I'll probably be fine with this on. Let me just get the book. Quickly retrieve the book that I had put into my bag. All right, it's fine if I sit here, right? I slip. I slip into the seat next to Yuri. Uh, yeah. Are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. That's. Wait a second. I'm trying to fix my screen. Who oh, no. Okay, that's better. Wait, no, it's not. Okay. 
That's better. I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want you to. It's just something I'm not used to. That's just reading in company with someone. Hold on a second. Screen's acting up for me. Don't worry, everybody. Give me a few seconds. A few more seconds. Almost done. Oh, oh no, no, no. My screen. That is reading in company with someone. I see. Well, just tell me if it, I end up distracting you or anything. Alright. All right. I open the book and start the prologue. Soon, I understand what Yuri means about reading the, the cup. It's as if I could feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. It's not practically a bad thing. Maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. Yuri's in, Yuri's in the corner of my eye. I realize she's not actually looking at her own book. I glance over. It looks like she's reading from my book instead. Sorry. Sorry. More sorries. I just... I just had something to say, I think. That's what you said, Les. Um, okay, let's c continue on. You're jabbering around, Yuri. I... I do? I don't really mean to. Sorry. I mean... <laughs> Here's this should work... Here, this should work great. I slide my desk in until it's up against Yuri, then hold my book more between the two of them. Ah, uh, I, I suppose so. Yuri timidly closes her own copy. Once we each lean in a bit, little bit, our shoulders are almost touching. I feel like my left arm is in the way, so instead I use my right hand to hold the book pen open. Ah, I guess that makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Here! Yuri takes her arms and holds on the left side of the book between her thumb and finger. Ah, I do the same with my right arm on my right side of the book. That way, I turn the page and Yuri slides it under her thumb after it flips to her side. But in holding it like that, I hold it even closer than before. It's actually kind of distracting for me. It's as if I could feel the warm Yuri's face and she's in the corner of my vision. Are you ready? Eh? You turned the page. Ah, uh, sorry. I think I got a bit distracted for a second. I glance over Yuri's face again and our eyes meet. I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. Ah, uh, that's okay. You're not used to reading books, right? I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. It's probably the least I can do, since you've been so patient with me. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. You continue to read. Yuri no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I'd assume that she's finished the page before me, so I turn it by my own volition. We continue to continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning the page almost feels like an intimate exchange. My dub gently letting go of the page, letting it flutter over to her side. 
as she t catches it under her own top. Hey, Yuri. This might be a silly though, but the main character reminds me of you a little bit. Eh? <laughs> no. I don't relate to this character at all. Definitely not. Really? I was just thinking the way she second guesses things she says and all that. <laughs> That's what you were talking about? Sorry. I thought you meant something else about her. Something else? N never mind. We didn't even get that far yet. So, I don't know what that came into my head. <laughs> Yuri, are you feeling all right? Eh. Yuri. Yuri's been a little fidgety ever since we started reading. Come on, forward, onward. Oh, oh wow, you made me overclock. Oh well. Your breathing is a little. My breathing. Yuri puts her hands on her chest as if feel her heart to beat. I, I didn't even notice. Anyway, I'm fine. I just need some water. Alright, don't push yourself. Yuri stands up and practically rushes out of the classroom. What on earth was that about? David Hazard B? Did something happen just now? Eh? I have no idea. Excuse me. Ah, <sighs> my screen. What did you do? What is my game doing? Your stinger gave me a heart attack. Now you're changing my screen. I have no idea. Probably my character is about to black out or something because he doesn't seem like he's feeling well with his perspective. Yeah, 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 yeah. Next, year. Continue, year. Guys, I'm clicking, and all I get to say is yeah, yeah. Why yeah, why yeah. You? 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 Oh, did I think the screen froze on my recording, guys? All right, I'm going to have to Edit because this one's perfect among them all. Wait, should I have two screens? Two screens. I'm gonna do it. Two screens because both of these screens are kind of messed up. Alright, don't worry. I'm gonna go at the background. Let's see. Who do we want to meet up with? Natsuki? Or Monica. Yuri's already gone. Why don't we go with Natsuki? Oh, I get it now. I guess my screen's messed up on this one. Oh, no now you mess up my other screen. What the heck's wrong with you? Clicking all the way. Alright, let's go. It's probably only fair if I shared mine with her first. Dot dot dot. Dot 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 question mark. Dot dot dot. Well, it's about what I expected from the someone like you. That's a little blunt. 
Well, excuse me. It's not like I said it was bad. It's just... It's just... It's just didn't evoke any emotion. So basically, it's not cute enough for your taste. Do you want to get smacked? I'll pass. Sigh. Well, anyway, I guess I need to show you mine. Wait, hold on a second. Are you talking about my poem? I still haven't even wrote mine. What the heck are you talking about? <laughs> I think I'm going crazy. Alright, let's go. Eagles can fly, monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, horses can race, owls can see, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, people can try, but that's about it. I almost thought that the part when that says people can try, I almost said people can fry. <laughs> Alright, let's continue on. Checking, checking, checking. Everything's okay. My screen. Whoa, my screen. Sorry for the randomness. Let's continue. Uh, my screen. My squeak. I told you that you were like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well... Because... Everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But is it the point of the poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like when it's easy to read, but it's hard. But it hits you hard. Like the po this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can barely really dishearten it. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on your wordplay. Like I set up a rhyme at the end, but but then made it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring the feeling of the last line. So, did you? I guess more went into it than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here. Yeah, I guess not. I decided to humor her with the last comment. I didn't care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. Who should I show my poem next to? Ugh. Alright then, Monica. Hi, David Hazard B. Having a good time so far? Uh, yeah. Good, glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, 
I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Of course, I'll be afraid to bring things up. How much we're better off going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Yeah, that's what I need to do in this game. Get used to all these freaking jump scares. Anyway, want to share your want to share your poem with me? Well, I never knew I created a poem. What are you even talking about, Monica? I haven't even gone home yet. You just brought me here. Oh, now I remember. I think I'm way too far ahead of myself. <laughs> Don't worry, David has to be. Well, all a little embarrassed today, you know? Freaking embarrassed myself thinking that I already I did write a poem. Dang it. Well, continue on. But it's that sort of barrier that we'll all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Mm-hmm. Great job, David Hazard B. I was going, oh, in my head while reading it. It's really metaphorical. I'm not sure wh why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. I guess I understand you. It's easiest for me to keep everyone expectations low. <laughs> that way, it always counts when I put in some effort. <laughs> That's not fair. Oh, I'm checking the Cordy. Okay, let's go. Well, I guess I w it worked anyway. Writing that is full of Im imagery and symbolism. Sometimes I feel like Yuri's mind is totally detached from reality. I don't mean that like it's a bad thing though but sometimes I get the expression that she's just totally given up on people. She spends so much time in her own head that it's probably a uh, much more interesting place for her. But that's why she gets to be happy when you treat her with a lot of kindness. I don't think she's used to being indulged like that. Just, she must be really starved from social interactions. So don't blame her for... Whoa, hold on, hold on, hold on. Alright. I approve. I have a reason to continue. Okay. Let's get to do it. She must be really starved for so don't blame her for coming so a little strongly like earlier. I think if she gets too stimulated she ends up withdrawing and looking for a alone, for alone time. Suddenly, the door is open. Blam! Yuri! I'm back. Did I miss anything? Not really. Well, we'll start... Well, we all started sharing our poems with each other. Eh? Already? I'm I, I'm sorry for being late. No need to apologize. We still need we still have plenty of time, so I'm glad you took time you needed. Alright. Thanks, Monica. I suppose I should go get my poem now. Anyway, do you wanna read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not 
be good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel the way, you know, I see. Well, let's read it then. Hole in the wall, once again. Mark 2. But he wasn't looking at me, confused, and I frankly glanced at my surroundings. But my bird eyes can no longer see colors. Are there others in this room? Are they talking? Or are they simply poems on a flat sheet of paper? She sounds frankly scrawled, scrawling, playing tricks on my ears. The room begins to crinkle, closing in on me. The air I breathe dissipates, dissipates before I, it, it reaches my lungs. I panic. There must be a way out. It's right there. He's right there. Swallowed by fears and brandish palm. So what do you think? Hmm, that's very freeform, if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, that's the kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, I could be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? Uh, well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I had some kind of epiphany recently. Hold on, hold on. See what I'm doing in my windows, can you guys? She's whoopy! Alright, let's continue on. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An infamy? Yeah, something like that. I'm kinda nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway. Here's Monica, writing tip of the day, yay! Sometimes, when you write a poem, or a story, your brain gets too fixated at a specific point. If you try hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just f force yourself to get something down on a pe paper and tidy it up later. And another way to think about it is, if you keep the pen in the same spot for a long time, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. So just move your hand around and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Yui! Yui! Show me a poem, please. As Sherry reads the poem, I notice her eyes lighten. Especially... Eh? What was that? D did I say that out loud? Yuri's first covers her mouth, but then ends up covering her whole face. I, you, he's gonna hate me. Um, you really didn't do anything wrong, Yuri. Eh, that's it. I, I guess you're right. What am I? getting so nervous for. <laughs> Yuri takes a breath. So, what kind of writing experience do you have? Your use of imagery and metaphors indicate you've written a lot of poetry before. Yeah, really? Wow, that's a huge compliment coming from you. This is actually my first time, really. First time in this mark. Two character. Your David Hazard B Mark Two. David Hazard B Mark One somehow ended up being lost in the past. Huh? Yuri stares at me blankly. 
it looks at my poem yet. Well, I know that. I just met, um, Yuri chills off and he was a fine and excuse. She traces, she traces her figure along with words in poems as if she, if breaking it down more thoroughly. Yeah? Okay. This is the reason I was able to tell. It's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through... And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick on them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separately from the topic matter and they form fit the other two together. And the end of the results is that both the styles and the exp expressiveness are weakened. Once Yuri finds the train of thoughts that she has changed, the stammering is completely gone and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you could blame for. There are so many different skills and technology that can go into writing in even a simple poem, not just finding or building them. But getting them to work through together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by example and try new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a little bit biased though. Biased? Hell! Uh, um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about other people like that. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri is apologizing for to herself or to me or not Tsuki. <laughs> you mind if I read your poem? Please do. I love to share my thoughts process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily as if that's a rare opportunity for her. Which itself is kind of funny. After all, is it this supposed to be the literature club? Go sudden delight. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow, baiting it must be this one. The last remaining street light to have understood the test of time, the last yet to be replaced by sickening blue-green hue of the future. I battle clang, calm, breathing air in present, but living in the past, the light flickers, I flicker back. Hold on. Somebody's asking me a question. Okay, I can see it now. You're reading pretty slow. Is everyone okay? One person is missing. Plus, my screen is probably messed up. Bye, boom, bam, man. <laughs> okay, no, no. Okay, let's continue on. Short little chat in the little bubble ahead. I, I'm sorry. I have such terrible handwriting. What? I wasn't thinking that at all. But it look, took you a long time to read. Ah. Well, I just don't read scripts very often. Eh? That's a relief. Also, I like the poem. Even though it's short, it was very really descriptive. It wasn't too short. I usually write long poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you liked it. Hold on, another question pops up. Lagging, glitches is normal in that game. 
It's why it's scary. It's going to give me a hard attack. <laughs> Unhappy face. There. Let's continue. I'll be honest. Since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. I'm suggesting easy to digest, just, I suppose. Are you into ghosts, Yuri? Hew hew. Actually, the story isn't about ghosts at all, David, has it been? Really? I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did once glance over it all, after all. But remember the poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and expressions in their own book. They usually do more than tell a story, simple story, and paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to what was lingering in the past, last remaining place of comfort, unable to let the past go, and soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more solemnly putting it that way. I hadn't even thought of that. That impressive. Eh? I, I, it's nothing really. You, yours was impressive too, so, nah. If anything, I could probably learn a thing or two from you. You think so? Yeah, of course. Ah, you know, I was really nervous about doing this at all, but in the end, I enjoyed it. I'm being, I'm gonna keep doing my best for you, David Hazerby. Ah, me too. Phew! I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. Everything seems normal. That was a little more stressful than I thought. Anticipated. I agree with all that screen errors and all those glitches and chatting. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mid mediocre writing abilities. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club after all. Sigh. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself. Across the room, Monica's writing something on her notebook. My eyes land on Yuri's and Natsu. Gently exchange sheets of paper sharing respective poems. As they read to me, I watch them expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's the with this language? Eh? Um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to her desk hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Ah, uh, thanks. I guess you're cute too. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? I clearly about the, the feeling of giving up. How about... How can that be cute? I know that. I just meant... The language is... I guess... I was trying to say something nice. Eh? You mean you have to try hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but I it really did come out nice at all. Um, well, I do have a couple of questions, suggestions. <laughs> if I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone else who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way? Monica liked it. David has it did too. You're gonna fight over this conversation? So I'm gonna skip ahead. I'm gonna go to the part where you have to choose which one's better. Monica, help me. 
There we go. I think that we're close. Let's continue. Uh, Natsuki, that's a little... That doesn't involve you taking out on your own insecurities on others like that. Oof! 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 Oh, I'm gonna have a heart attack. Oof! Oof! You knocked me out of the screen! With this screen, that's shivering in blackness. It's almost like my guy's having a heart attack or something. Gonna see the light. Okay, let's get to the Take God on your own insecurities. Oh my gosh, my guy's dying. He's dying. What the heck? Whatever's happening. Oh no, no. My poor guy's having health issues. Take him to the doctor. We gotta get out of here. He's having a heart attack. What do I do? Me? Look who's talking. You wanna be edgy, bitch? Edgy? Sorry, that's my lifestyle. It's too much for someone to have your mental age. See? <gasps> my guy's probably breathing so much that he's gonna pass out or something. Most people to get over it themselves after they graduate. If you wouldn't have proved anything or stopped harassing others with your sickening attitude, you think you could counterbalance like your toxic personalities just by dressing up and acting cute. The only cute thing about you is how hard you try. What? Be careful or you might cut yourself on the edge, Kiri. Oh my bad. You already do, don't you? D did you just accuse me of cutting myself? What the bleep is wrong with your head? You go on. Let David Hazard be here every day. You really think? I'm sure he'll be head over heels for you after this. <laughs> Suddenly he returns towards me as if he just noticed I was standing here. David Hazard B? She, he's trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. How did it? How did it? Da, 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 I couldn't read any of those. Uh, give me a second, guys. I'm gonna make it. If, if should I read that text right now or later? Um, Sayuri won't be able to help me. Monica's black backing out. What the heck do you make me choose? Heart attack. Let's go with. Since I hanged out with, with Yuri too many times on the last build, we'll go with not 50. Monica, could you help me please? Pussy please. Pretty please, pretty please, pretty please, help, my screen, are you here to help me? What the heck are you doing? Why did you do this to my screen? Um, hey David Hazard B, something in the background, why don't we step outside for a bit, a little bit, okay. Sorry about that. They really shouldn't have tried to get you involved. It's probably better for us to stay out of this. We'll go back in inside once they're done yelling. <laughs> so president, I am right? I can't even confront my own club members properly. I just wish I was able to do so a little bit more assertive things sometimes. But I never have it in me to put my foot down against others. You understand, right? Anyway, if this makes you want to spend less time with the others, then that's fine. I'd be happy to spend time with you instead. Suddenly, Natsugi runs out the classroom. Tears. She quickly runs away. Oh dear. Well, it looks like they're done. 
I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Yuri is rocking back and forth on her desk with her palms on her forehead. Yuri. I didn't mean it. I I believe you. I have no idea what Yuri might have said to Natsuki or did. David has it be. Please don't hate me. Please. I'm not like this. There's something wrong with me today. It's fine Yuri. We know you didn't mean it. Besides, I'm sure Natsuki will forget all about it by tomorrow. Completely. Anyway, the meeting's over so you can go home now if you want. Yuri looks at me like she wants to say something. But she keeps glancing at Monica. You, you can go first, Monica. I like to stay a little bit more longer. I'm the president, so I should be the last one out. I'll wait for you to be done. Well, I'm vice president, so please let me take the responsibility today. It sounds like you don't want me around for something, Gary. Eh, it's not that. It's not that. It's just. I didn't get much of a chance to discuss my book with that even Hazard B. It would just be embarrassing with you listening. Sigh. Well that's better than having just quotes. <laughs> I guess I didn't really have a choice do I? I'm sorry for causing trouble. But I really appreciate it. Wow that's disrespectful. You freaking you kicked me out the club room. You rushed me back home. What the heck? Okay, 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 I see. Let's go with. Okay, I sad dirty. We're going with something negative right now. Hmm, raindrops. Nothing's peaceful. This universe is strange. Here. Hmm. Disarray. Inferno. Suicide. Tragedy. Hmm. Crimson. Dream. Jumpy. Clumsy. Jump. Hmm. Dark. It's not an imagination. Heartbeat. This heartbeat's gotta go and explode. It's gonna explode! How did you do it? He has misfortune. He's in pain. It's his destiny to go on an adventure in front of disasters, which could be broken. You gotta be kidding me! <laughs> Another day passes through. And it's time for the club to meeting already. I've got a little bit more comfortable here. Entering the club room than usual scene greets me. Okay everybody, I'm gonna have to end this episode here. I have to get my heart to get it.